So today we're going to make the impression and I want to just show you the importance of a finger rest. If the finger rest is not there and you place your finger on the tray itself, the finger comes too close to the border and when the impression material flows, it gets deflected by the finger. This is the reason why a finger rest is important so that the finger pressure stays away from the border tissue. So I'm going to do the impression now. I'm going to just load my material and place it in the patient's mouth and make the impression. Okay, so we have here our SSY zinc oxide fusion oil impression material. You can very clearly see it says zinc oxide on it. And on this one, it very clearly says eugenol. So we've taken equal mixes of both. In case you find that the material is thickening up, the company does recommend you to use some warm water for a bit so that it softens up and then you can use it. Or if you would like to slow down the reaction a little bit, you can use a little bit of Vaseline, like I've used here, a very little bit and mix up the material. You need to mix the material till you come to a uniform consistency and you have no streaks in your material. Okay. You can see now that my material is consistent. I'm going to take some material off and I'm going to load my tray. I'm going to load my tray, I'm going to load it. It's a wash impression, so you want to keep it minimal and you want to just keep it across your borders. across your borders, right? I'm going to place it into my patient's mouth. So at this stage you need to put pressure on your finger rest. <clears throat> That's the reason why you have a finger rest. And then standing in front of the patient you want to move the so you want to pull up and do all the molding, okay. the cheek molding along with the buccal film, this side also cheek molding along with the buccal film, and the sun burner, but like that, the mean is that, come, come, barra, come, okay, I prefer this one. At this point, I really prefer the patient to put out the tongue completely and make all extreme movements so that the borders are really captured. Hmm? Push your tongue. Cheek. At this stage, I like to go from the masseitic notch area, sucker from, yes sir, sucker, yadam, sucker, yadam, 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 Check in the mouth again if all your borders are recorded. Then put pressure on your finger rest. Check for the video freedom. Okay. Close it. You want to come close?
you can see the border you can see the green green stick through the zinc oxide in most of the areas on the side you see it yeah. here also you can see the borders are well recorded yeah. and wait for about three to five minutes before you take it because the material needs time to set okay so i've gotten some material it looks like it's already set now i can turn it into a ball it's no longer sticking too much to me at this point i like to retrieve the impression from the mouth gently relieve the tissues Hopefully sun folks for you. Okay, ready? Ready. And then gently hold the handle. You need a positive handle here. And then push the impression back. And you have the impression. So you see the impression here. You see the green stick almost in every location is visible. Okay. Some areas may be pressure areas, but mostly you want the material to flow over the border of the green stick exactly. This is why it's called a wash impression. You remember we had to leave the crest of the ridge slightly to avoid pressure. That's why that's a very clearly relieved area. But every other place, you see that it's very close to the green stick border. And this is how a wash impression for a final impression must look.